everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be giving you an overview of this plugin called Plugman, and it allows you to enable disable reload find out the commands all that stuff from plugins in Minecraft now one thing I will say is while this plugin almost claims to allow you to install plugins while the server is running, I would not recommend doing that. However, it is great for disabling a plugin that might be causing your server some grief or getting versions of plugins, finding out what commands plugins are linked to, and on top of that, being able to do things like get plugin lists and versions and, and better upgraded list of plugins on your server. So it's really, really cool. It's worth doing a video on, but I do want to say while some people say you can install plugins while your server is running, that is not necessarily true with this plugin, but it is still worth taking a look at. And that plugin is Plugman. Now this plugin is really, really cool. As I said, it allows you to enable, disable, restart, load, reload, and unload plugins from in-game or console. Every command that we do in this video in-game can also be done in the console. It also lists plugins alphabetically and if you want with the versions, right, which is pretty cool. That's that's the biggest thing that I've seen. You can also get the authors of plugins and see every single command linked to a plugin. You can also run a command to see what command that command's linked to, right? For example, if you want to see what command's controlling slash fly in game, you can do that and figure that out using the Plugman plugin. There's also tab completion for command names and plugin names. It makes it a little easier, by the way. And then on top of that, you can dump all of your plugins to a file. That can be helpful when you're doing troubleshooting as well. And as you can see, there is more updates and stuff like that on this website, which you can find linked in the description down below. By the way, Plugman's the second link down below. If you want to download this plugin, it is linked down there. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server in Minecraft 1.16.3 or any version of Minecraft you want, whether you want plugins, whether you don't, whether you want mods, whether you don't, it doesn't matter. Apex supports it all. They have over 100 mod packs set up and running on their website. So nevertheless, go check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your Minecraft server with Plugman or whatever plugins, mods, or anything else that you want. Again, that's the breakdown to the XYZ slash Apex first link down below. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Plugman downloaded. To do that, you want to go ahead and go to this page in the description down below. Then you click on this blue download latest link. You can also go to file here if you want a previous version. The current version is from 1.10 through 1.15. However, I will say that this does work in 1.16.3, but loading plugins, right? Enabling plugins that aren't enabled on your server already that's where your issue is going to be in these newer versions. I'm having issues doing that. Back in 1.13, back in 1.8, on those versions, you can actually enable plugins that aren't already installed on your server without much of any issue. I've not been able to do that with the most recent version. That's why I'm doing that full disclosure. So I want to tell you all that this is not necessarily perfect for 1.16, but there is updates on the way. So let's go ahead and as you can see here, we have our server started. On this server, we do have Essentials, Essentials Chat, Essential Spawn, Creep Prevention, Holographic Displays, MCMMO, Plugman, and Vault. We're going to go ahead and join on into this server, or right like so. And once we are in here, we're going to be able to get started with Plugman. Now, I do want to mention the config of this plugin. It's not a lot. The only thing specified in the config is, if we go in here to Plugins, and then plug man. The only thing specified in this config file is what plugins should be looked at or not looked at by Plugman. For example, if there's a plugin you don't want looked at at all, you would just enter the file name of that plugin in here. So you can come in here and add that in and add in like via commas, like comma, space, and then whatever the plugin is. You can add all of those in there, right? But how would you do that? You would add, for example, Essentials X. If you wanted to add that in here, you would do boom comma, space, and then paste, right like that. You want to make sure you include the entire name of the plugin file. That's how it's going to identify it in game. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump in game and check all this out. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. I'm also going to go ahead and increase, hold on one quick second. Let's go ahead, increase our GUI scale. That way you all will be able to see a little bit better. So with Plugman, the first thing you need to do is slash Plugman space help. That's going to list all of the plugins that this, you know, or all of the commands that this plugin has. Now, what I was talking about with the plugin like versions and everything, you can do slash plugman space list and then do dash V, dash V being for versions. Hit enter and then it'll show you all the plugins you have installed with the versions of those plugins. Even grief prevention, as you can see right here, 16.15.0 dash subversion, right? It shows you that and then you can go to the plugin author and give them that information. But what if you don't know the plugin author? Well, I can show you how to find it with plugman. You can do slash plugman space info. I'd say grief prevention. We don't know the author of grief prevention. We just do plugman info grief prevention, hit enter, and there it is. Well, actually, grief prevention was the best example. It doesn't have an author there. But if we do something like MCMMO, it does have authors. MCMMO, boom. You can see all the authors there of MCMMO. You can also see what's called soft depends. Soft depend being something that it needs to have or could use, but it doesn't have to have it. So World Guard, 
combat tag, health bar, and via version are all things that MCMMO does use if they're there, but if they're not there, that's okay. If we go ahead and do info on essentials, we'll be able to see that essentials has soft events for vault and luck perms. Pretty cool stuff. And then essentials chat, we're going to be able to see depends on essentials. And there we go. So that it says depends, it has to have it to work. Essentials chat will not work without essentials, but essentials will work without vault or luck perms. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Now, you've got that set up, you've kind of learned how to do plugin info, but that's not all, right? That's not the surface of what that plugman does. So if we work our way down this list here, we can go ahead and do plugman usage, right? Plugman usage, and then enter a plugin. So let's go ahead and do essentials. And here's every single command that essentials has. All of them are right here. These are all the base commands for essentials though. For example, there are some that you enter something after to get it to work, right? For example, MVC. So if you want to MVC a player, if you just hit MC, it's not going to work. It's going to tell you that you need to enter a player, but it allows you to kind of get started, right? That's kind of the big thing there. It allows you to get started with the plug or with the command, and then maybe the you know plugin that it's actually from will go from there. Now, what if you don't know what command a plugin is from? Well, in that case, you would do plugman, and then space, if I can spell correctly, plug man, space, and then you want to do look up, and then you want to enter a command. So in our case, we're going to do fly, and then it's going to say fly is registered to essentials. If we want to go ahead and do ACB, oh, sorry, ACB, hit enter, that's going to be registered to creep prevention. If we wanted to see MCMMO, we would do mining. Boom, there's MCMMO. Holographic displays, we would do holograms, right? Holograms is the plugin that that's registered to, and there you go. Boom. Holograms is registered to holographic displays. So awesome stuff there. That's how you can do that. Now there's one more thing that this plugin touts is enabling and disabling plugins. It's a cool feature. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So let's say that you have holographic displays giving you some grief, if you will, giving you some issues in game. It's spitting out errors and it's causing lag on your server. That's not a necessary plugin to keep the server running. So you want to go ahead and disable it. And then you're going to, you know, set it up to be fixed after the next restart by, you know, not installing a completely new version of the plugin or something like that. Well, in order to do that, we're going to do slash plug man, right? So plug man, oh, excuse me, plug man. If I can type correctly, I'm having some troubles here. And then we're going to do disable and then holographic displays and hit enter. And boom, that hologram disappears and holographic displays is no longer working. Now, you can also re-enable a plugin by coming here and doing, oh, by the way, if we do slash plug man and then list again, right, we'll be able to see now holographic displays is red, meaning it's not enabled, it's not working. If we want to re-enable it, we can come here and do hologram or plug man, enable, holographic displays, hit enter, and boom, it comes back. It's now working in game. Now, if you do update the plugin, sometimes that will work, sometimes that won't work, but it is worth a shot. By the way, you can give it a shot in game and see if that will work, but a word of caution there, that has been a bit buggy in 1.16 compared to older versions of this plugin that I have used. Now, there's also the restart of a plugin. So for example, if we go back over here to our holographic displays. We'll just give this a uh, another quick look. You can also restart plugins with Plugman. This is different than reloading and the fact it turns the plugin completely off and then turns it back on. So we would do slash Plugman, space restart, and then holographic displays. And as you can see, it flashed there just for a second as it's turning it off and turning it back on really, really fast. It's different too because you'll notice and it gives a different kind of like information in the console. So if we go back to full screen here, we'll be able to see in the console that this red appears because again, it's reloading holographic displays. It's not used to that holographic displays, but by doing that, it's doing it a bit different than, you know, kind of the previous reload would with the plugin. So now we go ahead and go back to Minecraft. We can look at one last thing with Plugman and that is going to be unloading plugins. That's gonna be dis different from disabling because when you unload a plugin, it's truly completely removing it from the server. It's not gonna be listed in that regard. So if we want to go ahead and do that with holographic displays, we're going to be plug man and then we're going to do unload, hit enter, and then that's going to go ahead and disable the plugin, right? And we do now slash plug man list. It's not even there. Holographic displays isn't even there because of that. Now, this is where you might have some issues. You can technically load holographic displays back up. And in this case, it worked. But I've seen some plugins like grief prevention where the loading part won't work but the disabling unloading part will. So that's something you have to think about. I would recommend not unloading plugins unless you have to, right? Just disable them, that's usually your best bet. But there you have it. That is a complete overlook of the Plugman plugin. If you want any help in game, you can do just slash Plugman space help and literally every single command is listed here for this plugin. 
every single one of them, right? You can also check to see the version of a plugin and see if it's up to date. So we can do slash plug man, check, and then we can do like essentials, right? Boom. And then it's going to retrieve plugin versions. Sometimes it's going to say this could not fetch plugin data. Does the plugin exist as a spigot resource, right? That's something you might run into. And that's one of the reasons I don't really didn't really want to mention that until the end of this. But nevertheless, it is technically in game. It's a bit wonky in my opinion. It doesn't work all the time, but it is there. So there you have it. That is Plugman. This is a cool plugin specifically for disabling plugins on a server when they run awry. So many times we've had plugins run awry on like our, our network server, Breakdown Craft, that could be fixed if we could just hot disable them, which means turn them off without restarting the server. But we have to restart the server in order to remove them, fix them, and then restart the server again to enable them. This can remove a restart by making the server be able to stay live while removing the plugin. So there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed Plugman. But nevertheless, my name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.